We've been using robotic exoskeleton by Exos since April of this year, and we've had very good results. The exoskeleton is useful for a low-level patient, so we can get them on their feet and moving and maintain their motivation. But exo can also help a high-level patient that is already walking, but we can fine-tune their uh, disabilities, their deviations, if you will. We are the only facility south of Houston and San Antonio to provide this type of services to our community. The robotic exoskeleton that we are using is FDA approved for both spinal cord injury and stroke patients. Two perfect examples of this would be uh, Donnie Barajas. He was an incomplete spinal cord uh, injured patient, paraplegic. Uh, when he came to us, he couldn't move his legs at all. But with EXO, we were able to get him on his feet and be able to feel the sensation of walking. Um, and maintain his motivation. Because he was an incomplete spinal cord injured patient, uh, he had the capacity to be able to move his legs again, and EXO was able to expedite the process. I remember sitting there thinking that I was gonna walk away from, from the accident because I know it didn't feel bad. For the first, I'd say a minute and a half, two minutes, I moved my right leg, and I went to sit up in the vehicle, but my, you know, my left leg just kind of flopped over to the side, and that's when I knew I had, something was wrong. Yeah, my mind would, you know, began to wonder if I was going to be able to walk normal, to be normal, to do the normal things that I was going to be able to do, that I used to do. And lo and behold, the next day, one of the doctors said, he'd probably be a good patient for, you know, to try that exosuit. When something like this happens to you, you lose the use of one of your extremities. You catch yourself a lot of times trying to speak to your extremities, come on, move, move, come on. You know, it's, it's, kind of, it's a weird thing. Once, once you get into to that machine that helps you, you know, do things without, without the full thinking process, like, like you were as if you were acting normal, like every day, just taking off walking. When you, when you have something like that, it, it, it greatly affects the mind. It puts you almost to, back to that place to where, hey, everything, everything's normal, it's gonna be okay. With you know the introduction of that that machine or that tool into your therapy, it'll help you. Can't say enough good things about the staff. They, they're they're wonderful. My therapists were amazing. Nurses were amazing. It's like Dr. V said. They're, we're here to, to make everybody feel like family. Everybody feel comfortable. They definitely did that. The patients benefit in greater and faster recovery, and also there is an improvement in the quality of life in a shorter period of time. Another example where EXO was used is with uh, Manny Garcia. Uh, he had a hemorrhagic stroke. He came in here very low level, not able to sit up on the, on the edge of bed, but he was able to use EXO after his whole rehabilitation process when he was still participating in the outpatient division. So he was already walking, but we were able to utilize EXO to make his walking better because we were able to maintain that body alignment and we were able to keep him from using compensatory strategies when he was walking. My wife says that I was complaining of a headache yeah. and she said I complained of a migraine for five days in a row. She went after I was already face down. I had already had my aneurysm. So I remember being in the ambulance. That I do remember. In the ambulance, there was a light and a voice. He goes, Manny, I got you out of this one. But you gotta have a goal. And crazy me, I go, okay, here's my goal. I want to run a marathon. So the voice tells me, with your hard work and my help, give me the That's all I remember. And I got here. When one door closes, another one opens. But you got to want it. You wanna, you gotta wanna go through that door. Using the exoskeleton has helped me in my walking, walking, you know, correctly again. You know, I'm, de I'm less depending on the, on the cane. Thank you, the stuff, the HR, from the bottom of my heart. Cause I know that when I came here, I was like, I had one foot in the grave and you all brought me back to life. You all gave me hope.